The origination of the lion head rabbit is not really known, although they are believed to be a cross from Angora or Belgian dwarf to Swiss fox. They began showing up, in what many refer to as being a genetic mutation, in France and Belgium in the 1960s. Due to the distinguishably desirable mane of fur surrounding their heads, breeders began working with these mutations to lock in those genes. So they would securely be passed from one generation to the next, resulting in the breed that has become known today as the increasingly popular lion head. Lion heads are a small, compact rabbit that is instantly recognizable by the longer mane of fur around its head, giving it the resembling appearance of a lion's mane. They are available in a wide variety of colors, and with a single or double mane. It is commonly said that they are one of the cutest rabbit breeds in existence, making them increasingly popular as both show animals and pets. Typically, they are lively, sociable, friendly, and good-natured. However, they are quite timid, and as such they scare easily, which can cause them be show signs of aggression. For this reason, they are not suggested as the ideal breed of a rabbit to have as a pet for a small child. Lion heads require a bit more attention in the grooming department than what the short-furred breeds require, as their woolly mane be it single or double needs to be brushed out at least once a week. Additionally, when they are molting, they will need brushed more frequently, on the average of at least three times per week, to help prevent them from getting fur block, which can be fatal. Their nails should be clipped approximately once a month, as well as being thoroughly checked for any other physical abnormalities, such as abscesses or malocclusion, which is a hereditary dental problem. Otherwise, they require high-quality pellets, on the average of one cup per daily feeding, as well as fresh timothy hay, and clean water, plus due to the additional fur carried with this breed, it will be very beneficial to provide them with a small piece of fresh pineapple or papaya every few days. If buying fresh is not an option, you can use canned, but make sure it is unsweetened, in 100% natural juice, or chewable supplements can also be used, broken, or crushed up, and added to their pellets. They do well in a 24x24 cage, however, because of their level of activity, a larger cage would be better or the allowance of having a larger area available on a regular basis to provide ample space for exercise. Furthermore, lion heads, as it is with all rabbits, should never be bathed. To properly evaluate a lion head, as it is with all breed evaluations, he slash she should first be properly posed. Lion heads should be posed as sitting in an upright position, with front legs straight and feet resting flat on the table. The chest and mane should be fully exposed, and the body should be sat, resting on the rear end, with hind feet tucked squarely under the body. The head should not be pushed or forced down, and ears are to be short and stand erect. The body should be short, compact, and the chest should be broad, and well filled, as is the same case with the lower hips. Lack of, or poor quality manes are basis for disqualification. Although softer wool is permissible in juniors, the seniors' wool must be strong, full of life, and have a medium soft texture and have an evident crimp in the fur. Additionally, guard hairs may be present but should not create a coarse texture to the wool. When showing lion heads, each variety, color, is exhibited individually. Furthermore, you will need to know and understand the difference between a double, single, or no mane in order to more correctly evaluate this breed. A double mane is one that has wool all the way around the head, and some have transitional wool around the skirt, which is the hind quarters, hips, and tail. A single mane is one that is around its head, ears, chin and sometimes chest. The biggest problem with the single mane wool is that it gets thinner as the rabbit ages. Then last but not least, a lion head with no mane at all will look a lot like a large size Netherland dwarf. Also, notably, one of the most difficult tasks with breeding these adorable little bunnies is in the ability to be able to produce consistently